Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 1911 made one here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. Project number three, the holster for the car, CW45. I just finished it. Uh, got a little bit of cosmetic work to polish up the edges and all, but I wanted to go ahead and put this video up because I got to work tomorrow like everybody else in the world who has to work. Came out real damn good. And it's not perfect, but... I am not complaining, I'll promise you. This will be the, this is the very first full holster. Uh, on the other one, all I did was uh, to manufacture the cowling to go on the bottom to replace the original one that came from the factory, which was a bit of a nightmare, but I got it finished today. I've already put up a, uh, some photographs on Facebook of it. And um, so there you go. But I just wanted to show you guys this little baby. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I've learned a lot of lessons, including that a steel ruler, though not with a sharp edge on it, will still cut the piss out of you. It's bleeding all over the damn place while I go and had to put some damn uh, painter's tape on it because that's all I had available. But it's got the perfect cant and so forth. All right, let's get the camera on down here so you can really see it. Okay, there it is. Works fairly decent. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's my very first full-size holster. The little straps that I made for it, I still need to round the corners off. I'll use a Dremel, a rotary tool on that. But I'm not really concerned about it right now because I've got to get some new hardware. That's one of the things about making these holsters, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you uh, you got to learn what hardware you got to buy, Okay. Um, we started out with eighth inch eyelets and um, we didn't realize we actually needed quarter inch so we'll be getting some quarter inch eyelets before it's over with and um, different types of Chicago screws and so forth and rivets to uh, do this type of work with um, but yeah it came out damn good I do believe and I'm pretty damn happy with it because um, Biggest thing is a lot of them that you see they're two piece. You have a back and a front, and they uh, sandwich them together, and then they put rivets down the front and the back. Okay, and they're beautiful, wonderful, and for concealed carry, they they flow and they uh, are easier to conceal. But this one here, I wanted the least amount of impact as far as inches around my waist. Okay, I got a 30 inch waist, and I don't want to waste any of it because I also carry on my multi-tool with my little mag light, um, my keys, um, and other items, okay? Spare mag pouches, whatever the case may be. I don't have the damn waist size to waste any inches, okay? So I want to make it minimalist, and um, it's a work in progress. You, I've learned a lot of stuff today, including not to cut my damn finger off with a ruler. Which what I was doing is scoring a piece of the, the uh, kydex in order to make the little strips here, okay? And when it came off the end of it, my hand slipped. It didn't cut it with a razor, but the steel ruler I'm using has a straight edge. That's what it, it just, I mean, ha! It cut pee whacking out of me, but as usual, you just tape it up and keep on doing your deal. Yeah, you can't be a sissy. Anywho, this is Mac Daddy 1911 May 1 with the Shade Tree Survivalist. Um, you guys stay tuned. Um, I've already had one person asking about the uh, M14 stuff, and I didn't didn't click when they were asking. Um, William, William, somebody. I'm, I apologize. I don't remember your name right off the top of my head, but we will be uh, specializing in single Kydex magazine pouches for the M14 without any t retention other than the grip that it has on it, like the uh, this magazine. Plus a double enclosed magazine pouch for the M14. And these will be best if used in conjunction with the Magpul Magpuls or my, uh, you know, my own personal mag snatches, which are, you can make around your own house. There's no sense in you buying them when they, you know, there's nothing to it. Piece of plastic, a uh, rope with duct tape on it, little tiny piece of flat metal that will not cut you. You know, if you could round the edges off and just tape it to the base of the freaking magazine, bam, you've got a way to pull them right out without having to actually grasp the magazine. 
so you guys look forward to those uh, videos they will be coming soon as time allows i've got a lot of other stuff i got to do around here and um plus this is a steep learning curve uh as demonstrated by this baby right here but anywho thank you very much for watching this is mac daddy 1911a1 Kimmo's in the house she says hello goodbye y'all take care thank you very much for watching